the windshield. When we talk about so the pilot maintains jets, visibility. One name often flies under the radar, but shouldn't. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen. Built by the Swedish manufacturer Saab Military Aircraft, the Gripen first took to the skies in 1996, and yet, nearly three decades later, it's still considered one of the most capable and cost-effective fighters in the world. Think about it. This jet doesn't just exist as a budget-friendly option. It's a multi-role combat aircraft designed to stand shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with the best in the game, whether that's American, Russian, or European rivals. In the last 28 years, Saab has produced more than 300 Gripens, spread across seven different variants. The latest version, the Gripen 39F, continues to push the limits of what this aircraft can achieve. And it's not just Sweden putting faith in the Gripen. Today, over six countries operate this fighter, with more lining up to get their hands on it. That kind of global interest tells us something powerful. The Gripen isn't just a jet, it's a statement about affordability, adaptability, and performance. The Gripen story really begins in 1979, when Sweden faced a critical question, how to replace the aging Draken and Viggen fighters. They didn't want just another fast jet, they wanted something smarter, a Mach 2 capable aircraft able to take off from short, rough airstrips and versatile enough to handle multiple combat roles. That's where the designation JAS comes in, Yacht for air combat, attack for strike missions, and spawning for reconnaissance. The design choices were bold. Instead of a heavy twin-engine setup, Sweden went for a lightweight, single-engine, single-seat fighter with negative stability, making it agile but also demanding advanced fly-by-wire controls. At its heart is the Volvo RM12 engine, a Swedish-built version of the GE F404. It delivers more than 18,000 pounds of thrust with afterburners, pushing the Gripen close to Mach 2. Powerful, efficient, and easier to maintain, exactly what Sweden had in mind. Fast forward to today, and we arrive at the next chapter, the Gripen E and F. In November 2022, this new generation earned its Military Restricted Type Certificate, official recognition that it's ready for frontline service. But this isn't just an upgrade. The Gripen E is a complete overhaul, designed to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 Lightning II. Powered by the General Electric F-414G turbofan, rated at 22,000 pounds of thrust, the Gripen E doesn't just hit Mach 2. It can cruise supersonically without even using an afterburner. That means more range, more time in the fight, and less fuel burned. It also brings 10 hardpoints for weapons and pods, a 40% increase in fuel capacity, and incredibly short turnaround times, 10 minutes for air-to-air, -air, and just 20 minutes for air-to-ground rearming. In high-pressure combat, that's a game-changer. But the real secret lies inside the cockpit. Saab has designed a human-machine collaboration system that doesn't just present data, it works with the pilot. Three multifunction displays, a heads-up visor, and AI-powered software ensure the right information appears at the right moment. Add in hot toss controls, and the pilot can stay locked on the mission without distraction. The Gripen E isn't just faster and stronger, it's smarter, and that's what makes it dangerous. When the Gripen E slips into the sky, it's not just airframe and engine, it's a weapons supermarket on wings. Designed as a true multi-role fighter, the Gripen can switch from air superiority to precision strike, SIAD, suppression of enemy air defenses, or electronic warfare with minimal reconfiguration. For air-to-air -air work, it carries a lethal mix, MRAM, Meteor, IRST, ASRAM, Python, Derby, and South African A-Darter, missiles that cover every envelope from long-range beyond visual engagements to dogfight close kills. For strikes, the options are just as deep. Guided bombs, general-purpose M-series bombs, and standoff missiles like Maverick, Taurus, KEPD-350, and RBS-15FR, plus the fast and precise MBDA Brimstone. A Mauser BR-27 cannon gives it immediate firepower for both air and ground targets. But weapons are useless without sensors and survivability. 
The Gripen E's ESO-5 Raven radar and IRST give long-reach detection and passive tracking. Integrated Electronic Warfare Suites, Missile Approach Warning (MAW), Chaff and Flares protect the jet in hostile skies. Add mission pods like Lightning or Recolite, Saab's own MRPS or Thales DJRP for targeting and reconnaissance, and you've got a flexible sensor load tailored to the mission. Connect all that to modern data links, Link 16, Long Range Satcom, Standard Radios, and Rover, and the Gripen becomes a node in a wider battle space, sharing targeting info or receiving tasking in real time. In short, the Gripen E isn't just armed, it's networked, survivable, and brutally adaptable. At the end of the day, the Gripen isn't just another fighter jet. It's proof that smart engineering and adaptability can rival raw power and big budgets. Sweden has shown the world that efficiency and innovation can punch well above their weight. But what do you think? Can the Gripen truly stand its ground against giants like the F-35? Or will it remain the underdog of modern air power? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into aviation tech, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Viper Jet Wings, and ring the bell so you never miss our next breakdown of the world's most advanced aircraft.